Alright, hello and welcome to our game demo. So this is our main menu. As you can see, it looks quite nice. We have some animations to swing the camera over. For example, when I click settings, it swings over. And we can change the background to uh, whatever we want. This was just something simple that we set up to uh, to give it a good backdrop to then uh, test more and stuff. So as you see, we have a lot of different options. We have, for example, music volume. We'll go ahead and, and turn that off, although it just controls the uh, menu sounds for now. So as you see, there's quite a few options. Well, we can add and expand upon these very easily. We have controls and key bindings for different things, and we can always change that as well. We have video, we have a few graphical options. As you can see, we can say turn camera effects, but we could say turn the texture quality down or up, or turn the shadow quality up or down, or the V-Sync. Uh, but I don't, I don't want to do that because the last time I did this and I made the recording, I actually froze the screen. So this is the second time I'm doing this. <laughs> um, so yeah. Let's do this again. So, as you see, we have an exit. If you want to exit, you can choose that. And play. We have it set up so that we could say have a safe game system if we, if we wanted to. But for now, we're just going to hit new game. Alright, so it's going to take a, a few short seconds to load. And then it will pop up and give you some general directions. Uh, it's a bit loud. I hope it's okay. Okay, so use the directions. This is just so that when we throw our playtesters in, they aren't left wondering what exactly they're supposed to do. Although I feel it's quite intuitive. Um, I feel like anyone would really be able to figure it out, given a minute or so, just uh, without needing these um, instructions. So as you see, we have an examination system. You see, if we left click on objects, the reticle in the middle of the screen, as you can see, it's white if you can just see it. Kind of right there if you see it, where my mouse is. And when you highlight over an object, you can inspect or examine, it will turn red. So, what you do is you will find these examinable objects and then test your gameplay mechanics by pushing um, the appropriate button that will then give you points depending on if you performed the correct action by pushing say recycle for a recyclable item or put away for an item that's misplaced um, and stuff like that so that we can really test your gameplay mechanics um, without worrying about too many really advanced things, but it is still pretty advanced in my opinion. Uh, we have a timer up at the top, in the middle of the screen, as you can see, and there's music in the background, if you can hear. As this timer goes down, the music will actually start to get faster and faster, so if you're focused on looking for objects, like, ooh, there's something, and performing the desired actions you really don't have to keep looking up at a time or redirect during a view you really just have to listen to the audio cue of the music um, playing so we're going to let that run down so you can hear me a little better and we don't have to worry about it so you see we have some concepts of what we'd like um, some other areas to to look like as you see it, it now says times up and that would be the clue to say hey there's your high score how well did you do? Did you perform everything? You know, how well could you uh, perform? You know, the actions that we outlined here in you know a reasonable amount of time. You know, how did these gameplay mechanics work and whatnot? Which is really what we are are focusing on in our uh, implementation builds. And so, after doing this, you would then reset the stage, but I don't want to do that because then it's going to start the music again and you might not be able to hear me. So while these are just like concepts, you know, artist renditions, this 
is say the park and you'll see that later this is an actual area that was a bit bigger that we are going to fill out um, later before we release um, and this is an actual picture of of what we have so far and you'll you'll see that a little bit later so as you see we hide it over the door and it says press E to open so press E it'll walk in and the door will close behind us so now we're in the area as you see it's very attractive very nice it's a bit untextured but um, I didn't feel like worrying about that uh, just yet as the gameplay mechanics are what's most important first and foremost all right so here's for example is an item as you see we highlight over it and it turns the reticle in the very center of the screen red see as it goes from white to red if you can see that and then we left click it allows us to examine it and it will give you the ability to rotate it and exit back out if you just want to ignore it but in this case we want to put this object away and as you see at the bottom it says it's not bread but it is a pan in Spanish pan means bread <laughs> it's in Spanish the English word is not what this is it's just a little pun so we want to put that away you see it disappears and it's now gone so we got this and it says hey it's a trash bin it's empty you can't do anything and as you see if we highlight over this it actually changes colors a little bit as well on the object that's an option that we have um, but we don't have it implemented on some of the items I believe it's might be on some of these maybe not okay so here's like headphones and it's kind of should be hung up or put somewhere you say here's like a pin we can put that away oops what we do we just left the cap <laughs> and like here's like a trash can lid it says like it's a lid where did this come from and so you'll have the option to say put the object away and as you notice oh that's where it came from we can head up the stairs so it kind of helps you guide around with the direction the um, descriptions excuse me um, to kind of guide you just a little bit we can put that away there's like some bowls and stuff trash can there's a lone toaster sitting up there for some reason um, there's your phone it says it's low battery maybe we should charge it hey it's charging and then Here's something like this is a Coca-Cola can, and this is something that we can recycle. So as you see, when we were performing those various tasks previously, you see that we got points, and that's basically how we tell, hey, how intuitive were our controls? Were players able to pick out things that they could interact with in a reasonable amount of time? So essentially, the high score was say, stating that this is what the player could do in this amount of time this is how intuitive and simple and how easily the player could pick up the controls and understand or know what to do and so as you see if we recycle it we get 500 and if we trash it we get 250 points and so recycling it would actually be better and so that would come into play into our other environment where we may have other objects where we may not want to recycle it you know it may have the recycle option but hey this isn't actually recyclable this is you know toxic it's materials that should not be recycled it needs to be uh, taken care of in a different way something say you shouldn't even trash and so you would given you would be given the uh, appropriate action and then you would do that and then you'll be rewarded in points and you would would try to get a high enough score before the time runs out and yes the time that is provided is enough to find all of the objects and clean them up see I have a couple little hidden places as well if say you can't see somewhere you can left click when pointing at these lights so you see it's kind of like your Matilda you ever seen that movie she can turn lights and stuff on with a flick of her fingers a little snap you see oh here's a 
a mug. We should probably put that away and do our dishes and clean it. See, there's like some mugs. And so we can really throw that stuff into a dishwasher or, or a sink or anything like that. And then we have all these other different objects and stuff. And we see we have another concept. If we pushed into, say, to put in a bathroom scene and stuff where you might want to clean up a bathroom, clean up the sink and stuff like that. If we wanted to go that route, then this is something that we um, like to be able to make. That's just a, like a concept artist rendition of of something that we could definitely do. And so that is everything, I believe. And I'll show you again. I'll play through it one last time as if I was someone who was playing this for the first time so you can get an idea of how someone might play it. Let's go ahead and click this button. Sometimes it's a little finicky. Let me see. Let me get it to work. Okay, hold on. I've gotten it to work, but sometimes it's a bit Okay. So now we're back in and you have the instructions in front of you. We already know this, so we're gonna already head back in. So we would then go through and interact with the environment, and this would show, hey, this is how well and how easily we provided the ability for individuals to pick out objects and interact with them. Understand what the correct action would be. Um, put under a little bit of pressure and stuff so we can find the objects. Have a little fun and stuff while behind the scenes we're really testing some more deeper uh, gameplay mechanics that can help us build a little more of the game. So we have to objects away, run our cycle that, cycle, 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 that, we don't want that up anymore. Go upstairs, hook away, bowls away, and other stuff like that. So anyway, that is our little demo. I hope you enjoyed, and next up I will be showing you our scene that is currently a work in progress, and it is the park. See you in a second.